In this short, let's talk about how we can identify if the string is integer or float in Power Automate. In Power Automate, there are two functions, isInt and isFloat. Using that, we can easily identify if the string is integer or float. Let's taste this. Here I have two quantities, 34 and 23.67. This is my string variables. Now I want to check if my string is integer or float. For that, I need to use a function. So let's use a function is int. Is it int is a function which will return true if the string is integer. So let me just provide the variable quantity one here. And let's see what it will return. Similar way, let's apply the same condition for quantity two. I'm just applying the same formula for quantity two. After that, let's just check if the string two is float or not. So I'm adding one more formula in the same compose action. I will just use is float. And inside that, let's provide quantity two. And we are done. Let's taste this flow. And here we are. Let's just check. First, we are checking for the first variable. It is an integer. So it is returning true, which is correct. Let's expand compose two. So inside that first we have used is integer, but the actual value was float. So it has returned me false as the first part. And in second part, we used is float and it returned me true. So this is how you can simply check if your string is integer or float in Power Automate. If you love these short videos, please hit thumbs up and press the bell notification and don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and Twitter. And if you are looking for any training consultation, every link is available on the channel cover homepage. So stay tuned to me over there. See you in the next video with some amazing content. Till then have a great day. Goodbye.